What type of toothpaste do you use? If you used to be like me, I used to really not care about toothpaste. So I've tried things with fluoride, I've tried things with just basic off the shelf, this is what most people use. I've tried neem toothpaste and all of them just didn't do anything special. So toothpaste for me was just something that I would just use as a mint agent that made brushing kind of pleasant. But then I tried nano hydroxy appetite and hopefully I'm saying that correct, but it made me realize that toothpaste does matter. And I have two different ones that I tried. I have this one with 2% nano hydroxy appetite and this one with 10% nano hydroxy appetite. Man, that's a long word. Let's just simplify it to nano HA. So what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be talking about my experience with these toothpastes. I'll be going over some studies and what they say about the benefits of nano HA and I'll also just be giving my thoughts as to if I'll be continuing it down the road. So let's begin with the experiment. I started off using this one with 2% nano HA and the first time that I used it I was kind of blown away. So I brushed at night, I went to sleep and then actually let's rewind a bit. I brushed at night, my teeth felt smooth and nice and pearly. I went to sleep and then when I woke up, they were still nice and pearly and smooth. And then I just kept on like lingering a bit for an hour or two, meaning I didn't drink any coffee. I didn't try to do anything like eating anything intense because I just wanted to see how long that feel would last. And it lasted until I ate something. And that just kind of blew my mind because no other toothpaste has given me that type of feeling of smoothness on my teeth for such a long time. And this did it on the first day. And that wasn't just a one-time incidence. Every single day when I used Nano HA, I would get that experience of pearly smooth teeth all the way until my first meal in the morning. One thing that I learned from this experiment is that you're not supposed to rinse your mouth after brushing your teeth. Did you know that? I didn't know that. But when I read the instructions on how to use hydroxy appetite, then yeah, that's what they mentioned. And when I Googled it further, yeah, you're not supposed to rinse your mouth after brushing your teeth. The more you know. So I showed you two toothpastes in the beginning, one with 2% nano HA and one with 10% nano HA. And you would think that the 10% one is way better than the 2% one, right? But from my experience, the 2% one was actually better because the 10% one it left my mouth feeling kind of dry in the morning. So this one left my mouth normal. This one left my mouth dry and kind of raspy. And sometimes even at night, I would kind of gulp and kind of try to create saliva in my mouth so that I could like not feel that scratchy itch. And my teeth felt the same between these two. So I would always want to use this one instead. And I even tried mixing these two together and I still got that feeling. So I have a small suspicion that there's something in this 10% nano HA toothpaste that is causing my mouth to dry out. So for me, the clear winner was the 2% one over here. Another thing that I want to mention is the price tag. So a tube like this costs 18 Canadian dollars. This one over here costed 65 Canadian dollars. And that's a huge price difference for 2% nano HA versus 10% nano HA. And for me, the 2% one, in my opinion, did better than the 10%. Now let's talk about the benefits of nano HA. I looked up a couple of studies, I'll link it in the description, but there are a couple of things that I saw that were pretty prominent. So hydroxy appetite is effective in biofilm control through mainly an anti-adhesive property by preventing bacteria from binding to the tooth surface. So having nano HA in your mouth makes it so that bacteria doesn't stick to your tooth surface. HA dentifrices have shown definite clinical efficacy in reducing dentine hypersensitivity both in the intermediate and long term. So nano HA works against tooth sensitivity and fights against that in the immediate and long term. Several in vitro studies have proved the superior remineralization properties of HA and fluoride. 
However, most studies could not prove a statistically significant difference between HA and fluoride's remineralization properties. So comparing HA to fluoride, something that we know remineralizes teeth, it is as good as fluoride. Nano-HA has demonstrated significant remineralization effects over micro-HA due to its smaller particle size being able to remineralize nano-sized enamel defects. It's important that it's nano-sized and not micro-sized so that the nano-HA fits into the cracks in your enamel. Nano-HA penetrates into porocytes to replace dissolved phosphate and calcium ions and forms a synthetic enamel layer on the tooth surface which can act as a sacrificial layer during future acid attacks. So that feeling that I was getting after brushing with Nano HA toothpaste and that lingering smoothness on my teeth was actually this sacrificial layer that was protecting my teeth from acid. HA's effect on whitening is psychological rather than mechanical or chemical. So yet again, another thing that I've tried that doesn't really whiten teeth. It's more about this placebo effect of it being a bit more shiny or perhaps removing plaque that has built up revealing your normal teeth and enamel that makes it feel like it's a bit more white. So that was a lot of benefits, right? But what about these side effects? So far, I haven't found any side effects. If you can find any studies that mention side effects on nano hydroxy appetite, then let me know. There's of course a risk if you consume too much nano HA, but that can be said for every compound. So this one over here, the medical nano HA, is pushing that boundary to the limit. So will I be using nano HA as my toothpaste of choice moving forwards? Yeah. I think it's a no-brainer. Any other toothpaste that I've tried in the past, whether it be fluoride, neem, colgate, or crest, or whatever is on the market, I've tried them all. Because I always try a different one every single time I go in and buy something. And none of them have given me the same effects as Nano HA of a pearly smooth layer on my teeth that lasted until I ate my first meal. That is just crazy on its own in my opinion and I just don't see any downsides of it. I, I think it's a no-brainer to swap and use Nano HA as my toothpaste. So if you have any thoughts, concerns, or experiences that you want to share about Nano Hydroxy Appetite, then comment that down below in the comment section. I want to learn more about this because I'll be using it moving forwards and if you have something that I missed in this video, then let me know. I'm always willing to learn and expand my horizons. My name is Paul, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.